Hey everybody, Sue here. <clears throat> Just figure I'd uh, do a quick video. The I almost lost faith in freaking humanity today because there are some retarded people out there. On the way, like when I left work today, on the way to an appointment I had, the I noticed small critter was running across the road and it got clipped by a car on accident totally totally a full accident well that person just kept driving the little critter tumbled a couple times and right behind them about maybe I don't know 15 20 car lengths is a guy starts hanging out the window like aiming his tire towards the little critter and I don't know what could have possibly made him change his mind? Probably another truck coming towards him. But whatever might have caused him to change his mind, he decided not to run the little little critter over. So, like as I was coming up, you can actually hear this thing, like, screeching. Making some friggin' noise. So I turned my truck around, pulled up I used my truck as a blockade and I must have stopped traffic uh, probably a good mile and a half two miles I've caused a major backup and <clears throat> people were beeping their horns the whole nine yards I had this little critter right out in front of my truck <clears throat> so everybody that was behind me was blowing their horns well, I got out in my uniform and everything, so I'm probably going to get in trouble. But, I don't care. But they, uh, people, I walked to the front of my truck to check on the critter. And people started driving around my truck. I mean, nobody got out of their vehicles to see if I'm okay or see if anything is wrong. No, they just drove around my truck. They seen why I stopped. And... They were like talking about, oh, for Pete's sake, oh, what the hell, just kick it off to the side of the road. I mean, it's alive. It had a broken right rear leg, was broken, and I got it to calm down. It was in the middle of the road. It's like 90-something degrees out on these roads, plus the temperature of the road itself is hot, so... I mean, it, it was suffering, but it was still alive, <clears throat> and I stayed right there. Well, it finally got up enough strength, it kind of like waddled, waddled over to underneath my truck, I guess to get under the shade, and I still wasn't going to move my truck. I had buses, buses backed up, I had cement trucks backed up, I had all kinds of people backed up, people blowing their horns, whole nine yards. Nobody, nobody's asking me if I'm okay, or if anything's okay, or what's wrong. People just blowing their horns, because <clears throat> they're in such a massive hurry to keep going where they're going. Whole nine yards, but eventually it got underneath my truck, and it got over on the passenger rear side, and I had, I had a... A guy finally pulled up, and he, he asked me if I needed a hand to push my truck out of the road, and I explained to him that I'm using my truck as a barricade. I've already called the police, and I've called animal control, and this little critter, it's a little groundhog. I mean, it's just trying to get across the street, get hit, and it has an injury, and all these people, just they just see a truck in the road, and they're blasting their horns I mean I'm getting the Hawaiian good luck sign and it's not a happy wave it involves one of the fingers but yeah I wasn't budging well eventually almost an, almost an hour later I finally got it calmed down enough I used a towel I picked it up with a towel, got it off the side of the road into the shade, like grass and everything. Uh, one of the people in the neighborhood actually 
thought that it was that this thing, this groundhog, was eating his ch his chickens. And after I explained explain to him that they don't eat chickens, he just left, just walked away. So I figured, all right, hey, whatever. Well, he ended up coming back with a little bottle of water, and I gave I gave the groundhog some water and everything. I finally got my truck moved off to the side of the road, and people just flying by. Well, a little while longer later, still no police, still no animal control. So I called the animal control myself up, and they told me that they only deal with domesticated animals. You know, cats, dogs, horses, whatever you have in your house. Not wild animals. They don't apparently care for those. And then eventually, I seen a police coming down the road. So I walked out in the middle of the road and I flagged him down. And I asked him if he's if he's here for for me. And he said, told me that he didn't hear anything on the radio for anything in the area. But he pulled over and he decided that he was going to stick like right there with me until and help me try to get people to help. Okay, like try to get the the right animal people, but apparently he knew somebody to, to call that could, that can actually help, not just come and kill it and get rid of it, but somebody, like, I guess, like, this one is no kill, uh, but, I mean, I had, I still had an appointment I had to get to, but, so, he, he said that he was going to stick, stick by him, uh, I just kept calling him little, little man. And that's why I named the groundhog was just little man or little guy, excuse me, little guy. But eventually he, uh, I, I had to leave. And while I was at my appointment, I got a phone call from the police dispatch saying that little guy has been picked up and they hung my towel on the tree. Which, being that they said little guy, <clears throat> excuse me, being that they said little guy, I knew that the police officer that stopped there, because he even said it himself, he loves animals, and he, did, he didn't like the idea that the guy tried to purposely run the thing over while it was hurt. And he, apparently he stayed by, he stayed right there with him. The entire time until the animal people came and got him and there was a another gentleman there had two little kids they actually feed their uh, groundhogs they have in their yard and when I came back by to get my towel they even uh, the guy even said that they came and picked it up and everything and so it's a, it's a I mean there are some still some good people but I would say at least I had at least 7,500 cars blasting their horns, yelling all kinds of stuff out at me, and, and I mean, and I'm in a I'm in a military uniform, and they don't care. They don't care that there's an injured animal in the road. I mean, it's not their cat, not their dog, but I mean, it's a it's an innocent creature. I wasn't gonna have it. And, I mean, you can see by these pictures, I mean, if we're not here to help them, I mean, who's, who's going to who's gonna help them? So, yeah, I just figured I'd throw this on there and, I don't know, hopefully, hopefully people will, if you see an animal, I mean, it'd take two minutes of your life to try to help the life of an animal. It's, I mean, imagine if it was your dog out in the road, just got hit, broken leg. You would expect somebody to, I mean, try to help it. Or if your cat or whatever you have as an animal. I don't have dogs or cats, so it don't matter to me. But still, I mean, animals are innocent. They're, I mean, we can't, they can't help it that we build roads and that we drive like maniacs. And... They're just trying to get from one side to the other. But, 
yeah, hopefully it's another success story. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to look into, and last I heard that a uh, little guy was actually doing doing good, just a broken leg. So, but groundhogs, they need all four. So, might not turn out good. Hopefully it will turn out good, but hopefully, hopefully it will be a happy ending. So, well, I'll let you go. We wasted probably too much of your time. So, until next time.